Uh, I'm sure I've probably done a video on this before, but the question arises, and there's a thesis of question is, is Britain racist? Well, no. And I believe the uh, police and um, local official, officials allow those Black Lives Matter protests to go forth because they fear being labelled racist in this woke society that we live in. Um, we've got the most uh, ethnically diverse Catholic in history. Uh, we've got an Asian, man of Asian background who's Chancellor. We've got a woman of Asian background who's Home Secretary. And we are probably one of the most stringent um, hate laws in this country. So if someone was to get views of a black man, obviously that person hurling abuse would obviously be rightly arrested and convicted. And quite quickly, and rightly so. I don't know. I mean, yes, there are areas where obviously the Oxford and Cambridge and each obviously universities, those two uh, great institutions, need to actually accept more uh, people with ethnically diverse backgrounds. That is obviously true. Uh, but to say that Britain is racist is just plain wrong, really. It's just stupid. I mean, how can this country be racist when we've got a, uh, um, like I say, a man of Asian background as a chancellor? Uh, Rishi Shirak, uh, chancellor, we've got Bruce Patel as a uh, home secretary as well. And we've got one of the most stringent employ employment uh, equality laws in the world. And obviously bosses can't actually just say no to someone working for his or her company just because of the colour of their skin. Obviously got to be playing rock. I mean, we are a much better society than we were back in the 1970s. And this country has made uh, great strides towards uh, racial equality. Indeed, the uh, former MP, God rest his soul, David Lane, uh, who was the MP for Cambridge in the 1970s, uh, was the, uh, brought about the Race Relations Act in 1976. So, I think there's liberal lefty idiots who claim that all oh, we are racist because uh, we support um, going our own way and basically controlling our borders. It's just common sense. I think the majority of the world does actually control their borders. The whole point of a border is to, have a, is to have sovereignty over yourselves and not a free ferry taxi that comes off the English Channel every single day. And basically, the border police are providing a free ferry taxi for illegal immigrants coming to this country. If you want to come to this country, well, do it legally. Make, make an application. And obviously, this country's got a great record of um, taking asylum seekers and refugees. But these people that are coming in are smuggling by smugglers who will use them for slave labour or prostitution or sex trafficking, etc. And if they get work in this country, it will be obviously way below the minimum wage. It won't be... They won't be working for government wage, they'll be working for far less than government wage, or nothing. So all these migrants coming from the French coast, coming to the UK for a better life or land, milk and honey, most of them won't get it. What they'll get is probably be work uh, for long hours, probably being forced to cram uh, 15 in a house probably, and basically work for slave wages. Or nothing. And by actually helping these uh, migrants get across, all the government is get all, all, all getting is just helping the smugglers. And obviously making the smugglers rich. The one way to cut the smugglers' uh, wealth off is to actually stop the migrants coming in across the channel. But going back to the cut. Is this question of is Britain racist? It's just delusional. 
absolute rubbish. And I think we're living in a more, far more equal society now than ever before. Uh, well, and we should be proud of it. But uh, like I say, I don't understand why these protests, so-called protests, were allowed to go ahead in the first place. I mean, I think Kwasiga Gick is, she should be sacked. Because she, she's basically just good gang, 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 I think. And basically, the police officers did not have riot gear on. Uh, they weren't properly equipped or properly protected. And they were fearful of being prosecuted. And that's all they were. Is that the sort of police force we want in this country? What we need is uh, armoured cars, we need water cannons, rubber bullets and all that. To deal with these uh, morons. And, you sh and they should be being arrested on the spot, not not three weeks later, looking for CCTV. And I bet you there'll be no convictions whatsoever. Because of the wokeness and the PC brigade. 